Hey guys, you're welcome to Soft Sports TV. It's your boy Sasa P. And um, uh, the English Premier League is back. And um, well, it's been an exciting um, few days because um, we saw in the midweek on um, the Champions League, we saw exciting games between Man City and PSG. And so many games, you know, um, we saw Nkunku for um, Leipzig scoring goals and Hala scoring goals for Ajax, the return of Onana. There's so much talking point for us to talk about. But um, I just want to post this short video for now. And um, for this purpose, the purpose of this video, We'll just be talking about um, the upcoming Premier League games. And um, I have someone with me. His name is Dan B. Yes, um, he's a big man and uh, somebody who loves football so much. And um, he knows his onions when it comes to football. So, Dan will be talking to me about the game between Manchester United versus Chelsea. Yes, that game is going to be an exciting game. You know, United with um, the managerial issues and all, you know, sacking Ole and all. So many, so many stuff to talk about. But let me just hear from Dan now. Dan, you're welcome. Right. Yeah, I'm okay, Dan. So, um, now just tell me quickly, um, what are your thoughts on the game between um, Chelsea and the Manchester United? I think it'll be an interesting one. Uh, it's going to be a uh, tough uh, uh, Michael Carrick's goal there. I mean, obviously, he had the good result in midweek at uh, Villarreal. Uh, it's basically, I think it's secured progression into the last 16, hasn't it? Um, but it'll, it'll be tough between, obviously, Chelsea currently top of the league. Uh, going to Stamford Bridge is... Is, is never easy, but um, you know, um, Man United have always been a funny team, and the record against Chelsea in this sort of last couple of years hasn't been that bad, so it'll be an be interesting match. Yeah. And to, talking about record now, it will interest you to know that uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, I think he has scored just once in 15 games against Chelsea, so that will be something exciting to see. Uh, oh yeah, I mean obviously there was I think the most famous one he scored against Chelsea was the one in the, the 2008 Champions League final where he just left above everyone and headed it into the no. into the corner. No, no, I think I, I think that's amazing now because the only goal he scored against Chelsea came in the Champions League final, meaning that he has never scored against Chelsea in the league. <laughs> Why do you think that happened? It's just one of them things, isn't it? Like, I think. Some players just naturally just seem to do better against some teams than they do others. Like they look at Rooney, how good his record was against say, Newcastle or something like that. Okay. Like, so um, do you, do you reckon he, he, he gets a goal? Um, if he doesn't get a goal, I mean he can. I mean it's Ronaldo, isn't it? Like he can change a game at any given moment. So he doesn't get. He could, yeah, that's with, with, that's with a goal yeah, or an assist. He's been getting assists lately. So what do you think um, the full time score line would be, or who do you think will win? Um, I think, to be honest, I'm probably gonna have to say Chelsea. I think it'll be close. I think two one to Chelsea. I think. Um, with me, obviously, my United in, in the process of appointing that brand new interim basis, which could be a good appointment. Obviously, it's quite. Uh, Get what are like players that should be performing a lot better, like maybe more towards the standards to expect them. I mean, they're not going to win the league this year, but like but the, but the top four and things like that is still recoverable for them. So, so now, just um, something quick now. When um, United won the game against um, Villarreal, um, Kyrie came out to say um, he did it for Ole, and a lot of people were um, you know, a bit. Uh, you know, show them mixed feelings about that because um, it was funny that um, the team started playing for Ole once he was out. Why didn't they play for him when he was still in? What do you think about that? I mean, it's strange. I mean, things were so sharp. Uh, you can tell just how much he uh, loves Man United as a club and how uh, devastated he was um, when he when he obviously lost his job. But um, it, it was it was a strange one. Like, if I'm honest, I think a lot of Man United players are sort of more in it for themselves than what they are for the rest of the team or, or for the manager. I think that's been a bit of a recurring problem for the last for the last few years. Like, um, I mean, Pogba's attitude is at times questionable when it really shouldn't be because he's he's a very good player. Yeah. So, um, we, as you've shown, uh, obviously with Juventus and a few times with Man United, to be fair, but and also with with, with France at, at the World Cup and things like that so it, 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 it's very strange but it, it might have been something within the style of play you don't know like, like you don't know what's going on behind the scenes yeah, yeah. okay now um, thank you so much Dan um, for your time and um, you predicted um, 
Um, a two-one win for Chelsea. Yeah. Well, for me, um, I'll go with a draw. Um, I just feel um a lot of people are trying to um you know, I wouldn't say underestimate um Manchester United, but I feel um Chelsea will go into this one being complacent because um they just um they're just coming off um off um a beautiful win of Juventus by four goals to nil, so they'll be super confident. But the thing is, um, United still remains a big team, and um, I think they have a point to prove. So I think they will be solidly um. Uh, um, compact when it comes to the defensive side of the game, and I just believe they can just uh, manage to get the points from that game. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's kind of cold out here, so I think I'm um, the cold weather. Yeah, so that's all we have for today on Soft Sport. More videos will be coming in. You'll be hearing from Elvo Sam, you know, and um, I and Dan will be doing some other things also. And Dan has a good um, channel on YouTube where he talks about sports. Yeah, it's um, yeah. Can you give a shout out to your YouTube channel, Dan? Yeah, it's called uh, DB. Thirty Sports TV. Basically, it is. I do a lot of uh, sort of match day experience videos with my team Gates Head, as well as sort of other other matches mainly within sort of lower sort of grassroots levels of of English football. But there's there's plenty more to it as well. Uh, in at Easter time, um, heading over to Germany, we're going to be doing a couple of Bundesliga games. Uh, maybe maybe games in lower German leagues, but as well. Uh, one or two at high levels in England and in Scotland, etc. So there's, there's, there's plenty out there as well as one or two other sports as well, such as rugby league. Thank you very much, Dan. Yeah, so please um, go on YouTube and then you um, subscribe to this channel. I mean, you actually enjoy it, okay? Yeah, my name is Sasa Bian. I've had Dan with me, and I'm telling you now, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't. And you can follow us across all social media platforms. We're on Twitter, we're on Instagram, we're also on Facebook. All right? Yeah, be good and peace out.